Okay, we've got a, an expression, a complicated fraction to put into simpler ones, a lot like partial fractions. Because we've got x squared on the top and x squared on the bottom, okay, um, it's possible to do an algebraic division first to find out this constant a uh, and a remainder and then just do the partial fractions on the remainder. But uh, you'll probably find it more convenient just to go straight away with what they give you here and multiply up by both of these brackets, x minus 1 and x minus 2, to get 2x squared plus 5x minus 10 equals a, and that's going to be times 2 brackets plus b times a bracket plus c times a bracket, and then put in um, the smart values of x. There are only two smart values of x, x equals first one, x equals second one, and from those two of these constants will drop out. For the third constant you need to put in the next simplest value of x, which is not smart, but x equals naught. At least knowing two out of a, b, and c, you'll be able to put those values in and use that to get your third constant. So that's how we find the constants a, b, and c. Then, um, to uh, expand this, okay, well, once I know that it's a plus b times uh, b over x minus 1, well, I need to be thinking about um, 1 over x minus 1. We'll leave the b alone to begin with. That's going to be x minus 1 to some power. So I'm going to expand that. I'm going to expand, expand x plus 2 to some power. Okay, and then I'm going to remember the constants b and c, multiply these up, and finally I'm going to add the constant a, and that's how I'm going to get my overall expansion by adding together two other expansions, which have been multiplied up appropriately and had the a value added onto them.